Hey guys, this is all stream that back with another episode of Hunting Simulator. And uh, we are going to take this one right here called Flush Em Out. We need two pheasants and we need to hit one from over 50 meters. And we do not need our flashlight, so we will keep our binoculars. We will have our 22 semi automatic as our regular, and it automatically switches our 270 bolt action to the secondary. So let's go ahead and get started on this hunt. In this region of subalpine, you'll probably have to switch between the grassy and gravel areas. Pheasants will be hard to find, so scouting out the lower and higher ground will be pivotal in this hunt. So real quickly, let's just take a look around. Okay, that's a butterfly. Okay, so based on what I've seen, this is the way we want to go. One hour northwest. Okay, we are looking for pheasants. We are getting close to a known ground for them. Okay. So let's come right up here. Okay, we're checking the wooded areas. Okay, we're trying to move a little slow here. When you're hunting birds, you want to move slow. Because if you happen to spook them, they'll take off. Okay, there are no pheasants down there. Okay, so we want to move really slow here. Okay, we may have one.
Okay. So we're getting closer, so whatever it is, it hasn't detected us yet. Okay, right over the ridge. Oh, we got them both, didn't we? Ooh. Okay, there's one. I didn't see... Okay, well, there's the second. There we go. That was a quick one. 322 points. We hit one from over 50 meters. Uh, I think we hit both from over 50. And we can now use the wind powder two times. Okay, so now we have our next run, which is called They Really Sound Like That. And it is a hunt from 10.30 at night to 4.30 in the morning, so we are going to need our flashlight. And they want two elk. So, the first thing that we want to do is we want to come down and get our flashlights. Our weapon, we've got our 270 bolt action. And our secondary will be a 22 semi-automatic in case they want any small game. And we have our wind powder times two. At this time of day, these elk are likely to be drinking, so you're going to find them near the water, but don't just follow the river. They'll be thirsty, but they're not just going to sit by the water. They'll also be roaming the grassy areas and the dense areas too. These elk like to roam. They cover a lot of terrain each day, moving between feeding areas, and it's thirsty work too. If you've got the patience, you can camp by the river and hope that an elk comes to drink, or you can try and track them down. Don't mistake them for mule deer, though. They like to roam in these parts, too. Pay attention to the antlers. Okay, so they, we, they just want two elk. So far. So. Let's take a quick look. See if we can find any clues right away. Okay, and there's nothing up there. There we go. Two hours to the south. Two hours to the southeast. That's a mule deer. We don't need a mule deer. Elk, one hour south. Okay. Oh, nope, there was nothing big. That was just a rabbit of some sort.
Mule deer. Mule deer. Mule deer. Elk. Female. Let's go for the male. Come on, buddy. Yep, he's down. Okay, and they want a jackrabbit here now, too. Hit him in the stomach. That's negative 100. But the weight in the distance got us 306. Okay, and they want a jackrabbit hare. I don't think we're going to go for the jackrabbit just because I don't care for these dark hunts. So let's see if we can just find another another elk and get this one over with. Excuse me. Okay, there's one around here somewhere. That was zero hours, and it was to the south. Got him. Got him in the lungs. Okay. Total of 817 points. And we can now use an elk collar. Okay, so the next one that we have is called Just Look at Its Tail. And we need a white-tailed deer. And it looks like... The hunt is from 11 in the morning to 7 at night. So we are still on the 270 bolt action. We will not need that. So let's grab the binoculars and let's go ahead and start this hunt. These valleys are a favorite amongst the animals in this region and the white-tailed deer are no exception. The valleys are dense, grassy, and not too far from water, making them an ideal place to inhabit. You're going to find most white-tailed deer in the valleys, but they are partial to a wander outside of them towards the river. It's a large area that they cover, which can make it tricky to find them, but they like to roam, so you might just cross paths with one. An elk or a mule deer. So, we need a white-tailed deer. Okay, we're going to take a quick look around because we are in a decent area. Um, let's come... Whoop. 
that bird was coming right for us. Okay, so let's come right over here. And we are, okay, yep. We're going further in. Let's check that, six hours southwest. Okay, we are up pretty high. Okay, so being up here gives us the advantage of being able to look out over everything. And let's see if we can get up onto these rocks, which we can. And I am not seeing anything from up here let's take a look down here over the river there's nothing there Okay, here is some more tracks, four hours southwest, and this one is probably about the same, and it is. So I was probably looking over the wrong way. So we're looking for white-tailed deer. That's an elk. So we want to be responsible and only shoot what they want us to. Three hours southwest. This one's probably the same. And it is. Okay, what do we have here? Two hours directly west. These are probably one hour tracks. Yep, southwest, so they're going that way. One hour southwest. One hour southwest, okay. Oh, come on. That's going to hit him in the stomach. Well, we got one anyway. Um, okay. 
Okay, that's our mule deer. Okay. So we got a white tailed deer. Oh, we got him in the stomach and the lungs, which is fine, I guess. And we got him. And we can now use a deer collar. Okay, and that will end our episode for today. I want to thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.